Hey everyone, so I'm going to plan my February. Today is January 20th and I usually plan for the following month about two weeks ahead of time just so I'm ready and nothing sneaks up on me. So I just printed out my February insert and I also have my pencil pouch here, two sticker sheets from our monthly subscription and my expanding file with some other stickers I use and of course my planners right here too and so in my planner I'll be referencing my monthly planning routine and monthly recurring tasks so I'll have this to the side get out my pen and also get out some stickers here in the back pocket so the first thing I do is I go onto my Google Calendar, which I'm not going to show on camera just because there's private stuff, and I look for any personal dates that I want to add to my monthly spread. So for my monthly spread, I only do project planning things. I don't put little like appointments or meetings. This is mainly for an overview of bigger kind of projects that I have for the month, both for personal and for business. So the first thing I do is I go on my Google Calendar and look for any personal projects that I want to add here. And I use my transparent dots. So my transparent dots are here and I have our ECRU dots for personal, the black and gray dots for the shop, and then taupe dots for content. So I'll start with my personal events or projects. And I always use a tweezer for these tiny little transparent dots. So I'll go ahead and add my personal things to my calendar first. Also, when I have like a bunch of days in a row I need to mark. I use my transparent thin strips and I'm getting out my ecru color because it's personal related. So there are all my personal things and then I move on to the shop. So I'll get my black which is for subs and then gray which are for like releases. And then what I like to do is use icons for the personal things. So that's why I have my sheet A from our February Romanticize Your Life sticker kit. So I have a day off there. And so I also have these text labels that I use. So we'll get the day off. I'm going to trim it a bit. Day off here. And then here is Lunar New Year, and I actually don't have that here, but I do have a holiday sheet of icons, and I have it here. Here, we're going to drive to see our family for Lunar New Year, so I put a car. Here is my sister-in-law's birthday. So I said I don't really like put smaller things on here. Like I don't put a lot of birthdays, but for my sister-in-law, I have to ship a gift to her. So that's why I mark it here. So I know that I need a few days to get everything prepared to ship to her. And then on the 14th, so this is Valentine's Day and Ash Wednesday, actually. So I'm going to do... Valentine's Day. Actually, let me put the icon first. So I have a little heart, like candy heart box icon, and then the text label. And then Ash Wednesday. So I don't have an icon for Ash Wednesday, but I do have cross icons. And then my daughter's birthday is on the 16th. So I'll use a cake icon for that. Also, my other daughter has a day off, so I'll use one of these. Okay, and then on the 19th is President's Day, and I have an icon for that, as well as 
the text label. And then lastly, I have my nephew's birthday. On the bottom, I like to put my monthly projects here and then a little deco here. So for the projects, I'll use one of the headers from our sheet A sticker kit and just line it up here. And then add some deco. So usually I like to use a quote sticker. I also like to use a tweezer so I don't get too many fingerprints when I'm using transparent stickers. And then probably add this sticker and one over here just to balance it out. So then I just had to fill this all in. Oh, I forgot here I do have a label for that. So for a TPS drop, that's like our first Friday releases where we have the majority of our releases. And then we also have TPS sale, which is usually like our oops grab bags. So then here on the side column, I use that for projects for the week. So each week I focus on a different project. And then here for projects at the bottom for monthly projects, I put one, two, and three for wellness, personal, and the shop. But I'm not going to fill that in yet because we're still in the middle of January. And I want to see how January plays out before I set my projects for February. I almost forgot to do my content transparent dots, so I used taupe for my Sunday videos. But I won't write those in yet because I still want to see how January plays out with content before I fill that in. So I just saved spots for them. So that's really it for the monthly spread this side. And then here on this front page, this is a perpetual calendar which I use for forward planning. So here in my planner in my monthly section, so here's January and I usually only keep one month in here. So then I have this insert, my important dates insert, which I use for forward planning for all the months past the current month. So here in February, you'll see I have these dates, which I transfer on to here. So these are kind of like reminders and stuff that I wouldn't put here or on my Google Calendar. And I check this every week to see what reminders I have. And then I also mark my daughter's hot lunches with my Tombow. And then on the back page, I use my weekly sticky notes for planning out our production schedule. So just like by the week, our little stencil that we had in one of our stationary subs a long time ago. I use this for making straight like highlighter marks. And this is just for our production schedule, which I'm not gonna fill in yet because like I said, we're in the middle of January and I wanna see how that plays out. But usually I put like week one and then what I need to do week two, week three and week four but I'll have that all ready. And that's basically it. That's how I plan out my month. And then it's ready to go in my planner right behind January. Here's January. So like I said, I like to plan out my month about two weeks ahead of time so that way Anything that's happening, especially in this first part of the month, does it sneak up on me and it's on my radar. And I just do this. My other February spreads, like in my Hobonichi Cousin Work Planner, my Hobonichi Weeks Wellness Planner, and my A6 Memory Keeping Planner, I do those as we get closer to February because it's really just setting up all like the deco and stuff like that. So if you have any questions about any of this, then please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.